Yeah. Okay. So, uh, it's about, what, 7.36 in the morning, my time? No, 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 my clock is off. It is 6.36 in the morning. I just woke up. My cat is in the bathroom, pawing around in his uh, litter box. The unruly kid upstairs in our apartment is banging around like Godzilla. I have my coffee. So let's try and answer some questions. All right. When I went to the thread and I saw that there were so many of you posting questions, I was like, oh, man, I don't want to have to type that much. So I'm going to record it because that's easier for me. So we're going to go through several of the questions today. So what we have first, our first question comes from Mr. or Mrs. Zero. And the question was, how did you get into music? Well, uh, let's see. I started in music a long, 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 long time ago when I was very young. I uh, My mom taught me piano. And then in um, I was like, what? five or six years old and then I didn't really care about it. I was like screw this mom I want to go play video games I didn't say screw this because if I would have said screw this to my mom she would have beaten me and honestly I'd probably beat my child too but whatever it did it planted a seed in my brain stem because then it started to grow and then in middle school which is uh fourth no sorry sixth through eighth grade uh I was in the band and I played trumpet uh which was weird at the time. I didn't know if I really liked it or not. I look back on it. I'm like, that was cool. But at the time I was like, I want to screw this. I want to play video games. You're seeing a pattern here. But uh, in high school, instead of doing band, I started really focusing on other instruments like the drums uh, and then guitar and whatnot and just continued doing that. was in a few bands uh, and then kind of got to where I am by doing just music in the computer because I kind of like that. But that's how essentially I got into music. A little more than what you asked for, but hey, I'm that kind of guy. Wink! So the second question is from Hunter Slasher 13 and his question is what was your impression of Gaming Union when you first visited the site? Um I I have to be honest, I really don't remember the first time I visited the site. Uh yeah, I really don't remember the first time I visited the site. When I first came into contact with Gaming Union, it was actually through Kyle who at the time was looking for somebody to write uh, music for the new podcast series that they were doing. Uh, And the podcast series is what we know today as Kingdom Hearts Union. So my... My introduction to the site probably didn't come until a few weeks, maybe even a month or two afterwards, because Kingdom Hearts Union at the time really wasn't a part of Gaming Union. Uh, But when I did come to the site and I started getting involved about six months later, it would have been in February of 2010, um, I saw that the community was actually very kind and very forgiving. And for that, I thank you, people. Um, But no, I I have had a very, very, very good impression. Honestly, if you guys would have been a whole bunch of douche nozzles, I probably wouldn't have stayed. So, hey, yay, Gaming Union, not full of douche nozzles. And, you know, I think that should be our... uh, That should be our mantra. That should be our saying. That should be our thing. And I need to make a note of that. Perfect. That's going on the header of GamingUnion.net. Okay, next question is from Kevio17, and he asks, why tweaks? And I say, why not? No, that's stupid. Um, so, tweaks stemmed from the name, my original name was Tweak, T-W-E-E-K, uh, which did come from South Park, and I created that name because... I was playing Final Fantasy XI at the time, and I wanted to be a little character, one of the character races called the Taru Taru, which are really kind of little small midget guys who kind of look like South Park characters. So I decided to be Tweak, uh, which then Tweak became my remixer name on OCR. And then when I turned it into an actual business of sorts, I realized that there were a lot of tweaks out there, T-W-E-E-Ks out there, um, and I realized that I wanted to have something a little more kind of buzzworthy, so I changed the K to an X and then turned it into tweaks, and really have been tweaks ever since. However, if you do go on Overclocked Remix, or if you ever do see me in Final Fantasy XI, my name is still Tweak, uh, so I do keep my heritage. I know where I come from. So, the next one is from Abe, who says, Who is Brian? Well, I I am me. 
who is Brian? Brian is me. Uh, and then he says, what instruments do you play and which is your favorite? Uh, the instruments that I play, I, I really have only been classically trained so to speak, on the trumpet, and that was in middle school for about three years. Um, but I do play the drums, I play the guitar, uh, acoustic guitar, bass guitar, piano, uh, I play mandolin. I actually asked for a uh, ukulele for Christmas and got it, and I'm learning that. It's, it's actually really fun and really easy to pick up. Uh, you know, I do really just about anything that needs to be done. Uh, I do play, you know, the recorder, the flutes, uh, or some other weird, kind of weird-ass instruments. Also, you know, all percussion and all that kind of thing. Um, you know, it really, in terms of what my favorite one is, I don't know if I really have one. It really depends on the style of music that I'm working on. Uh, depends on what style of music I'm composing. Sometimes, you know, my favorite instrument is just a voice doing, you know, weird Wah! stuff. Uh, you know, actually, I need to sample that Wah! and put that in a song sometime because that actually sounds kind of cool. And now that we're on that note, coffee break. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. Oh, glass, you keep it so nice. Uh, but yes, so my favorite instrument, like I said, really is determined on kind of what I'm doing at the time. Sometimes it's the acoustic guitar, sometimes it's the drum, sometimes it's the mandolin, sometimes it's even the ukulele. I think I'm kind of going through a ukulele kick right now. Uh, the next question is from Kid, who says, when will we see your silliness back on the podcasts again? Um, well, maybe this will help hold you over for a little bit. I don't know if this is silly or just kind of, uh, early morning stupor madness. I'm kind of losing my friggin' mind. Um, but, you know, my... <laughs> I may be on a podcast again. I might not. Really, being the managing director means that I'm having to be all serious and all like, oh, you got to do your work right now, and if you don't, I'm going to kill you. Well, not really kill you, but I'm going to be angry. And by angry, I just mean I'm going to be passive-aggressive and not talk to you. And then you're going to be like, Brian, why don't you talk to me? I want you to talk to me. I'm like, I'm not talking to you because you didn't do your work. But I'll do my work, I promise, I promise. Okay, I'll start talking to you again. You know, it's just that kind of thing. And I'm like, uh... But will I be back on the podcasts? I might make a guest appearance here and there. But on the whole, I really am focusing more on the day-to-day -day of Gaming Union. So if you have... If you're like... Brian, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why all of you have such a southern accent, but you know what? In my mind, you do. So, Brian, why don't you, Why is it the site working? Oh, Brian, why are these ads causing all this plus? Hey, Brian, and I'm going to be like, I'm here to save the day. I wish that was my voice all the time. That'd be kind of awesome. So, will I be back on the podcast? Maybe here and there, but will I be back on full time? It's doubtful, to be honest, but... You never know. So the next question is from Colin, uh, a.k.a. Douchebag. I'm just kidding, Colin. You're a mega douchebag. So Colin asks, tomato or tomato? Wait, no, that's probably tomato or tomato or tomato or tomato. Honestly, um, I'll say, uh, what would I say to that? I think I'd probably say tomato. And then I say tomato when I'm making fun of Daryl, which I do a lot. So maybe it's actually tomato. Ah, it's either one. So the next one is from You Love Patrick, and you're right. I do love you, Patrick. He has three questions, and the first one is, what is your favorite film? Oh, gosh. I, it's kind of like music. I don't really have a favorite film. It really depends on my mood. In terms of some of the ones that I like the most, I really like the uh, the Born Identity series. I really like uh, the first three Pirates movies. Um... Good Lord, I have an entire shelf full of DVDs and Blu-rays, and I can't even keep them straight. Right now, I'm going through a really big Disney kick, where I'm getting all the Disneys on Blu-ray and watching them through, like Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella, uh, and no, not Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, uh, Snow White, Dumbo, and then also going through all of the Pixar movies again. Uh, so really digging that. But I also do like, you know, 300, Sherlock Holmes, um... Oh, gosh. You know, the Spider-Man movies were okay. Some of the super uh, super uh, human movies are all right, but not really my favorites. Um, but, yeah, it really depends on my mood. Sometimes, yeah, I really am in the mood for just a chick flick because there are some good chick flicks out there. 
Wait, did I just say that? Um, no. Awkward. The next question he asks is, what is your favorite book? Uh, and that, again, is very, it's a very difficult one to say. I have a few favorite series that I really like to read through, and uh, the first one, probably the one that I've read through the most, and I will admit to this, is probably the Harry Potter series. I have read through that. Oh, goodness gracious, how many times have I read through that? I don't even know. Um, but I also uh, really enjoyed the Aragon series, except for really the last book, the fourth book, Inheritance. Uh, but the first three books were really good, and the fourth book was okay. Um, but I really do like that series. Um, I really enjoy another series called the Mitford series. It is a very... I mean, if you're looking for action and whatnot, uh, let me tell you that the Mitford series is definitely, definitely not for you. Uh, it is a very, very gentle fiction book, one that I used to read a long time ago, and I still kind of read through them now. Um, and then I'm also going through the Wheel of Time series right now, which has actually been really, really, really good. Um, they do a good job of exploring the dynamics between men and women, but in a fantasy setting. It sounds like a bad porno. It sounds like I'm saying, oh, they really knew how to get the guy and the girl right but it's not a porno I promise the Wheel of Time series is actually a really good fantasy series so if you're looking for one it'll keep you busy for a while because each book is like 3,000 pages long and they're like 20 of them well not really they're about 800 pages long and they're I think 11, 12, 13 of them but it's a really good series uh, in terms of what's my favorite video game good grief you really are killing me with these questions you do know that you know Patrick I'm not sure if I love you as much anymore um, you know, again, I don't have a favorite video game, but in terms of some of the games that I do like the most, um, I have always been a big fan of the Mario franchise. I am more of a Nintendo fanboy than anything else. Um, favorite games of all time? Uh, let me see here. I would probably say Mario 64 and Super Mario World. Uh, I would say Mario Kart 64 and even the Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Perfect Dark on the N64. People are like, why not GoldenEye? And I'm like, GoldenEye was good, but Perfect Dark was awesome. And it was awesome. Uh, this gen, obviously, I love the Uncharted series, the Assassin's Creed series. I love Little Big Planet. I love uh, the Mass Effect series. Um, I mean, the list just really goes on and on and on. But I hope that sufficiently answered your questions. And my, oh, Wheatley. My cat is now getting all over my laptop. All right, Wheatley, you got to go down. There you go. All right, you know what time it is? It's time for another coffee break. Oh. Oh, sweet mother's milk. That is so good. See, I, I don't drink the normal coffee. I drink the uh, the really girly coffee. And I mean, when I say girly coffee, it's a white chocolate mocha. But I have noticed for those for those men of you out there who really like the white chocolate mocha but feel embarrassed to, uh, to order it at Starbucks, what you need to go and do is you need to go up and say, I want, uh, let's say you want a venti. But the biggest one, you say, I want a venti white mocha. You don't even have to say the word chocolate, and they know what it means. But then they ask you the embarrassing question, do you want whipped cream on that? To which I'm always like, whipped cream? Whipped cream? Yes, I do. Thank you. And so they put it on, and then I'm like, ah, oh, sweet nectar of the gods. So the final question in this round comes from the Ninja Max. And the question is, if you had the chance of a score of... I'm dumb. Let me try this again. If you had the chance of scoring... Oh, screensaver! Now I can't see the question anymore. Okay, end of episode. I'm just kidding, of course. Ninja Max, I love you! I'm not sure if I love you more than I love Patrick, but... Ah, what am I kidding? I love you too. So his question is, if you had the chance of scoring a job as a music supervisor slash composer for a video game, what would be your dream project? So I'm guessing that he means that what franchise or what game in particular would I like to score for the most? To be honest with you, I'm not really sure if there's a particular game that I would like to score for, simply because I really like... I really like doing a wide range of music. I don't like doing the same style of music over and over and over again. I've come from the world of 
doing music for advertisements and commercials, which is it has a very fast turnaround. So I like doing a lot of different styles of music in a very short time. Um, so really, I, there is really more of a team that I would rather work for rather than on one particular game. And I would very much like to work with the compositional team who did the music for the game Near. Now, uh, if you guys have spent, for any of you who have spent any amount of time on the forums and on the site, you know of my love affair with this game. I have a nerdgasm over the music, and it is like awesome. So uh, yeah, the team from Near is the one that I would like to be with the most. I like to make some musical, some musical love. Yeah, that was creepy. It's my creepy voice that I can't really do because I'm too tired and my voice keeps cracking. So yeah, people from Near, I'm coming for you, or maybe not. Because that's kind of weird. So, so far, those are the questions that we have. If you want to ask more questions, go right ahead. And I'll probably answer them this way because I'm just too lazy to type. Uh, which actually come to think of it. Now I'm going to have to edit all this audio together. That's going to be even more work. Well, maybe I'll just leave it as it is. Uh, that's probably what I'll do. Because I'm lazy. And I just don't care. So, if you have more questions, you can always ask them. If you don't... Well, I guess you won't. And that's the sound of Wheatley eating his food rather loudly. He is kind of a pig. So, once again, if I haven't said it enough, which I don't think I have, so let's say it again. If you have more questions, you can, of course, ask them in the thread, and I will get around to answering them like a boss, like the boss that I am, the boss of Gaming Union, the GU boss, the GUB, the gub. I'll answer it like the gub that I am. So, until next time. Peace out, people. It's coffee time! Yeah!